We have quite an intense time right now, so we're going to break this down into dailies. I still have a weekly that I put up. Make sure you're watching that because this all goes together and creates a story. All right. Here's what's funny about this. Um, it's Mercury retrograde. So I'm trying to record this. Things are happening, right? So this card had come out and I was like, ugh, I'm having all these problems. Let me just reshuffle and it came out again. So this is the secret. We have been under such an intense veil to distract, to make us forget ourselves, to make us forget where we come from, how powerful we are. And it's going to be through that spiritual practice that we're going to be able to break through this. And we're finding out the secret of ourselves. We're finding out we don't have to give in. We don't have to listen to narratives that make us feel bad about ourselves. Now, a lot of people will pretend to understand what that means. But then they're worried about how they look. Right. And I'm talking in like a very vain kind of way, or they're worried about how to use that power, how to leverage that power. You don't have to do anything with it necessarily. You just need to embody it. You need to allow that energy to guide you, not the other way around where you're taking it and going, hmm, how can I funnel this to manifest a punishment towards somebody who was cruel to me or how can I work this around to manifest that yacht that plane listen go back and watch the weekly maybe not something you want to be doing right now um yeah I mean don't don't be misinterpreting what this energy is trying to get you to understand it's trying to get you back into the authentic self the true higher self now that portion of you is trying to access, it's trying to come on in and give you more information. But listen, I'm just as guilty of this as anybody. Let me tell you, I've been obsessed about cleaning my house. Yeah. And it's not clean. Why is it not clean? Because I obsess. I got one of those hand steamers and now I'm steaming everything. Okay. <laughs> but I'll steam like one corner and get it all spiffy. And then I turn around and I'm like, the rest of it's garbage and I, I don't, I'm tired and I don't want to do the rest of it. So <laughs> this is another thing where we just have to realize how we're overthinking, how we're putting too much effort or energy into something that doesn't really matter. Whatever's distracting us, what do we allow to distract us? Again, getting back in touch with that spiritual self. Now, if you say, how do we do that? Well, as luck would have it, you came to this video and I'm an angel practitioner. What do we do? Well, we access the angels through our heart space. That's a good place to start. And that's with a point of light. You've heard this a million times, point of light. You breathe into it, allow it to expand around you. If you want to get a reading, angelsouls444.com. You want to do it on your own? Cool. Just do it. Okay. Just do something for yourself so that you don't drive yourselves crazy. Okay. With everything that's going to be unfolding. So we're going to leave it there for this one. I will catch you tomorrow. Take care.